The Thomas test can be utilized to identify hip flexor tightness as well as rectus femoris tightness for your patients. Although there's limited research analyzing the diagnostic value of this clinical test, the clinician can still subjectively utilize it to identify muscular tightness. I'd next like to ask Matt to go ahead and please place his bottom right here on the edge of the plinth for me, bringing both knees to his chest while laying backwards on the plinth. Next, I'd like to ask him to go ahead and hold on to his asymptomatic side while allowing his symptomatic side to go ahead and just hang freely off of the table. In this position, the clinician can identify both the hip flexion angle as well as the knee flexion angle to identify hip flexor tightness or rectus femoris tightness. Next, I'd like to go ahead and utilize a comparison of his asymptomatic side to look for asymmetries. Now, a true positive for this test is a limited amount of hip extension or knee flexion on the extended leg. So in this situation, Matthew has demonstrated hip flexion tightness as well as rectus femoris tightness bilaterally.